The fighter to my right represents the North County Fight Club and the fighting city of San Diego, California. The executioner, Joey money, nothing. Girlfriend dumped me. It was just horrible. I just felt like crap. I just stumbled across this gym. It's called Bulls Pen. And uh, I saw what was going on. I was freaking all about it. And they, the guy, the owner there, his name was Dino Fernandez. He um, basically like let me train there for free. I had like, like I said, I had a background in, in wrestling, like freestyle and Greco-Roman from high school and, uh, and boxing. So when I, when, it was a, when I was in Hawaii, it was mostly focused on like Muay Thai, because I'd never kicked ever in my life. And uh, the jiu-jitsu aspect, so mixed in the whole submissions and all that good stuff. I first started training with uh, the thought that I wanted to fight in mind, I believe it was like 2005, when I really decided that I was gonna try to do it. It's my favorite part. Yeah, it's a good part. Knocking people out. Why? Because it's like, there's no, it doesn't leave anything, uh, you know, there's nothing left to debate. Like, if you did that, you won. No questions asked. If you're going to want to make it to the big show, and if you're, a, I think if you're a heavyweight and you're going to want to make it to like a big show where you start making money, you got to knock people out. Like, little guys can get away with being technical and like, uh, art, artsy. But if you're a big dude, especially if you're a big Mexican guy, people just want to see you scrap and knock people out. My mom at first was like really, she didn't really know what was going on. She had seen me compete before like in wrestling. So like when I told her that I was gonna go fight my first fight, she was like, is it like, you know, is it like wrestling? And I was like, no, it's a little different. Um, and I just sat down and I showed her one time, just watching like Pride, Pride fighting championships on like Fox and stuff and just showing her some fights. and. It was that, there was this one fight where <clears throat> Rampage Jackson, he's freaking, it's like his famous slam where he picks the guy up and power bombs him and knocks him out, dropping him on his head. My mom freaked out when she saw that. She's like, no, you're not going. But uh, I was like, yeah, I am. So. <laughs> I was um, amazed, um, surprised and a little bit scared too, because being my, my younger brother, I, 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 I never really paid much attention to the whole MMA thing. And just that, me being a girl, I'm just not really into that. But since I've seen him, you know, and paid more attention to it, it I pay, I like it more. But my first reaction was like, oh my God, what is he doing? Now it's cool. Now she knows it's, she knows what's up. She got pretty upset when like, I got my arm broke in one of my fights. She was pretty bummed out about that. But I mean, she knows it's what I'm, what I want to do. She kind of knows it's like what I've always wanted to do. Like I've always wanted to be a pro fighter. And uh, so she's pretty stoked for me now. Now, now that she sees that it's progressing and it's actually like starting to get somewhere. The first time, the first time that I saw him fight, I freaked out. I freaked out because you know I, I it was kind of like in a Rocky movie. Mm -hmm. I was just like, stop the fight, stop the fight. Even though he was doing really well and he was winning, um, but it's just that that fear of oh my god, what can happen? But um, but now you know. I go and I watch, I really, really like being there supporting him. I get all into it, shout out his name, you know, carry the banner. Every, all my friends tell me that go see it, they say that it's pretty nerve wracking knowing that, you know, I'm going to go fight. It's not like going to a ping pong game. Yeah. Someone's going to try to break my face. Well, like, he, he told me, like, all these things that he does. Like, he grew up, like, without a dad and all that. But, like, sometimes, like, I have a dad, like, I think of him as my dad, too. 
because like he takes me out places and like all that like he watches out for me and I uh, sometimes like I don't know I think he's like here like watching out for me and make sure I do better in life it makes us proud it, it truly makes us proud you know to see him take those risks to not be afraid um, I'm really really proud of him because he motivates my kids you know they've got like this um, they, they've always looked to him because he's always been, you know, like more funner, more funner than, than, than I am. But now um, he motivates them. He motivates my sons, and that's what, what I'm really proud of. My sister's kids, they're like the, probably like the biggest, the biggest, like the most important people to me. My nephews and my niece. Definitely want to like give a good example to them, show them like if you, if you put in the hard work, like good stuff's going to happen. They train with Joey, and uh, they go to the gym over there with Joey at the dojo that he goes to and and yeah now that I've seen that it's you know there's it, it's not it's risky you know but it gives it gives him a self a self sense of uh, self-worth and that self-esteem and that's what I like to see My boy Eddie, Eddie Sanchez, who also has a silly nickname. He's the manic Hispanic. <laughs> Mexican man, uh, yeah, I gave that to him. Um, you know, b both are being Hispanic, he'd be Mexican as well. I don't want to be any disrespect to anybody else, else, else's culture or any other race or anything like that, but people always be like, are you Samoan? Because I'm so big, or are you Samoan? Are you Filipino? Like, no, man, I'm freaking Mexican. Like, we got big guys too. Um, uh, you know, and he just, he just, you don't want to step in the cage with this dude, dude you know? Um, you know, you have to, you're coming for a fight. He won't, you know, he, he won't stop till you're out, you're, you know, he's out or you're out. So he just executes people and him be Mexican, put them together. Executioner. I think Executioner is a cool, it's a cool little nickname, matches, you know, represents La Raza and kind of like a superhero. <laughs>